हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व ऑफ पेपर टू फिजिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दिस क्वेश्चन सेज दैट अ मेटल फिलामेंट लैम्प इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद कैपेसिटर ऑफ कैपेसिटर सी माइक्रोफेर एंड द सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज टू हंड्रेड एंड दी फ्रीक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स पावर कंज्यूम बाय द लैम्प इज फाइव हंड्रेड वॉट सो आई कैन ट्रीट द लैम्प एज अ रजिस्टेंस सो वी हैव अ रजिस्टेंस and along with this resistance we have a capacitor and this combination has been connected with an ac source and the details of the ac source are given as 200 volt and 50 hertz okay it has been told that the power consumed in the resistance or the power consumed by the lamp is 500 watt so this information will help us to calculate the resistance of the bulb the voltage drop across the resistance is also given so resist This can be written as V square by P, so it will become hundred into hundred divided by P, and P is five hundred watt, so it becomes equal to twenty. So twenty ohm is the value of the resistance. Okay. Now uh, the question says that the magnitude of phase difference. Okay. Mm. Fine. See, if we are using a voltage source of two hundred volt, and if the voltage drop across the resistance is hundred volt, that means the voltage drop across the capacitor would be equal to two hundred square minus hundred square and root of that. So it becomes hundred root three. Okay. So this is the voltage across the capacitor. So now, if the voltage across capacitor is this, and the voltage across resistance is hundred, so we can find out the value of phi because tan phi will be equal to voltage across capacitor divided by voltage across resistor. So that turns out to be root three, which means phi turned out to be sixty degree. Okay. so we know one of the things that is 60 the other thing capacitance we can calculate it easily because we know the voltage drop across the capacitor okay and we also know uh, the current in the circuit how do we know that because uh, the bulb is producing 500 watt and the voltage across it is 100 volt that means the current here should be 5 ampere okay so the uh, value of voltage across capacitor is known okay the current is known so xc can be readily calculated like if we are trying to calculate xc uh, we should write uh, the voltage that is 100 root 3 divided by uh, the current which is 5 so it comes out to be 20 root 3 and now this can be written as 1 upon omega c So twenty root three, okay, is equals to one upon uh, omega into c. Okay, omega will become hundred pi, and c is something that we are trying to figure out. So let me write it as c into ten to the power six because of the microfarad. So the value of c will become one upon twenty root three into hundred pi. Into ten raised to power minus six. So now let's try to understand that uh, we will get one upon, or maybe thousand upon two uh, into pi root three. And pi root three is given to be five in the question itself. So it becomes thousand divided by ten. So it is hundred. So the value of C is hundred microfarad. Okay, the value of phi is already found out, so that means question number eight, twelve, uh, and question number eleven are both done. I hope you enjoyed the solutions, guys. I'll bring my next video in which you'll have more solutions. Take care and enjoy.